Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you everything that is in my Audible library. Um, Jessica and Tori did this video a while back, so I will link their videos down below. And I thought it was a super fun idea, but I honestly was a little bit intimidated by filming this, and I still am because there are so many books in my Audible library. But the Audible sale is happening right now, and so I figured this would be a great time to go through these books with you. I'm going to start with the ones I've already read, um, so I can kind of give you recommendations, and then we will finish it with everything else that's in my library, which includes all of the books that I have purchased during the sale. I mean, like, not all of them are books that I purchased during the sale, but those are included in what is in my library. Anyway, so I'm going to screen record I think that's probably the easiest way because there are over 250 books in my library and I don't know that I have the time to insert pictures of every single book so we're gonna try screen recording and see how this goes so I'm gonna start it now so the first book on here is blue shift this is my husband's we did combine our like we have two separate accounts but you can like share within a household um and when he started doing romance we did that so that he wasn't repurchasing um, books that I was recommending to him he had access to mine so anyway then we have um so I mean I just see on here Noble Prince and Stone Princess those are books three and four in the Clifton Ford series by Daphne Perry um I I think I've listened to all of this series I mean the first, I've only finished the first four books so I think I've listened to all of them on audio and I do really enjoy the audiobooks they are very quick to get through um they are easy to listen to, like easy to speed up. I mean, I speed up all my audiobooks, but I can go a little bit faster with these. Um, that's something that I really appreciate when it's an audiobook that's easy to listen to, so I can go even faster than um, what is necessarily normal for me. Um, Stone Princess was not my favorite, but I did really love Noble Prince. But if you were looking for audiobooks, this series is a great one to listen to on audio. Um, also, I do want to say... I cannot see prices of any of these on Audible anymore because I've already like I already own them so for some reason it won't show me prices but like everything is included in the sale so um and I know Daphne Perry's are are like pretty not cheap but like they're they're much more on sale um some books are still like eight ten eleven dollars and I wasn't interested in buying a book that expensive because I know a lot of times if you download it on Kindle Unlimited you can get it for like seven fifty um Anyway, all that to say, I can no longer see prices, um, so definitely look these up, and I'm sorry if they are more expensive, but I know Devney Perry's were not that expensive. Um, then we have Project Hail Mary. That's one of my husband's. Same with Fire and Blood is one of my husband's. Then we have Bunch of Catherine Cows. I love her audiobooks. I have listened to every single one of her books on audio except for her most recent release. I want to say it was Shattered Sea because um, I had a paper, like a paperback arc of it, and so I didn't have the audio. And then further to follow, her very first book she ever wrote doesn't have an audiobook. But every other book by her I have listened to on audio, and I love them. Her audiobooks are fabulous. Um, and she does have, like, boxed sets of the first three books of her um, Beautiful series. What is the series called? Sutter Lake series and also her Reckless series so um and I think they're both on sale for like four or five dollars so you get three books for like four or five dollars which is awesome um so I would highly recommend doing that so um you have those three and then this is the Reckless series or Wrecked series um so again you have the box set of the first three books and then you can see I purchased um separately the last two and I finished those on audio. Um, the Sutter Lake series my library had those which is why I don't have the last two in my Audible account. So then here we have the first two books in the Clifton Ford series, Still King and Raven Knight. I enjoyed both of these. I think I gave them both four stars. Um, like I said the series is really easy to listen to on audio and I really enjoy the audiobooks for those. Um, then we have Catherine Cowell's newest series. So Tattered Stars is the first book in this series, in her Tattered and Torn series. I think this is probably my favorite series of hers and it's also my favorite audiobooks of hers like I said they're all fabulous but um like this one was Andy Art and Zachary Weber and can you get much better than that I don't really know that you can so um I would highly recommend starting with her Tattered and Torn series and starting with it on audio but don't miss out on those other box sets because those are good deals too then we have A Chance for Us by Corinne Michaels um I didn't I don't know. I don't remember loving this. Um, it is Zachary Weber, so I don't know if it was the female narrator or if it was just the book in general that I wasn't a huge fan of, but um, 
it is a marriage of convenience it was cute um but like it took me a while to get into it kind of a thing so um yes magicians of the gods and fingerprints of the gods are my husband's flirt by adriana Locke. i did really enjoy um i don't remember the audio specifically but i know i liked that book Legacy of the Stars is my husband. Parks and Provocation is so good. It is one of my favorite books of the year, probably. Um, and I did enjoy the narrators. When Heroes Fall by Gianna Darling. I will say I did not like this on audio. This is a fabulous book, and I actually bought the second one on audio in the sale, which I totally forgot about this, but I was not a huge fan of the narrators for this book, so that's a bummer that I bought the second one. I totally forgot until telling you that right now. Um, but the first book was great. I just, like I said, didn't love the narrators. Challenge by Amy Dawes. Again, I didn't love this one, the book or the narrators. Um, I'm pretty sure this has a full cast, um, so it's not just the main two characters that are narrated. I think there is multiple people that are um, narrating this book. And I don't know, I didn't necessarily think that that was necessary for this story. And it just wasn't my favorite. Then we have What Lovers Do by Jewel E. Ann. Um, I enjoyed the book. I don't remember the audio. It doesn't stand out to me as one of my favorites. I can tell you that, but, um, it was a good one. Bittersweet by Serena Bowen. I did really love, and I'm pretty sure I enjoyed this audiobook as well. These narrators, um, the names don't sound familiar, but I think I did really enjoy that audio. Things We Never Got Over by Lucy Score. This one I went back and forth between the audio and the paperback just because it was so long. The audio was good, but like just the idea of listening to a 16 hour audiobook really overwhelms me. Um, if that's something that for you, you, you're like, oh, it's 16 hours, but I can get through it way faster in audio because I can, you know, up the speed, then great. I think this is a great one. The audio was really good. Um, I just, I don't know, 16, anything over like 10 hours I'm like oh really and then anything over 12 hours I usually don't buy but um this one I was reading the paperback so I got the audio so I could switch back and forth The Bride by Julie Garwin I enjoyed this book and Rosalind Landor is one of my favorite audiobook narrators she did I'm pretty sure all of the Bridgerton books she's really really good um so if you were looking for a good historical definitely check out her as the narrator and see what books she has narrated because I really love them um, Beloved Liar. This is book three, I think, in the Reed Rivers trilogy. I love anything by Lauren Rowe, and I also love her audiobooks. Again, this is Andy Art and Jacob Morgan. You cannot go wrong. Um, yes, big fan. Tattered by Devney Perry. I didn't absolutely love this book, but I don't think I liked the audiobook very much. This is another one that took me a while to get into, I think because of the audio, which usually that's the opposite. Usually I kind of like get into books quicker um, when I'm listening to them on audio. Uh, Anvil Dark and Red Bounty are my husband's. Then we have Ruthless Creatures and Carnal Urges by J.T. Geisinger. I loved these two books and loved the audiobooks. Again, these were books that were super easy to kind of speed up and fly through. They were really easy to listen to, and I would highly recommend getting them on audio. Book three, I read physically, and I DNF'd it, and I think that part of the reason is because it wasn't on audio. So I actually bought book three in this sale um, because I really do think that was part of it because these audiobooks are fantastic. Backyard Starship is my husband's. Then we have The Bribe by Will and Ash, who is Devney Perry. Um, I really liked this one. Again, some great narrators here. You have Ava Erickson and Jason Clark. Um, this was really good on audio, and I did buy the second book in the sale. I should probably stop telling you all of this because we're going to get to them later when we get to the books I haven't read yet. Rockstar by Lauren Rowe. Um, I love all of the Morgan Brothers on audio. Actually, that's a lie. I didn't listen... I only listened to Hero on audio. I read the others. No? No. You know what it was? This was back when Audible Escape was a thing, and I listened to them all through Audible Escape. I did listen to them on audio. Um, also, I am like 99% sure that Lauren Rowe narrated these herself, and that she changed her name, because now it says Lily Reynolds. Um... But I I saw somewhere else that it was Lauren Rowe, and back when I first listened to them, like two, two and a half years ago, it said Lauren Rowe. And I know she used to narrate some of her own audiobooks, so I'm pretty sure 
she did and she just changed the name because I saw in an interview she, she used to be an audiobook narrator not just for herself and I saw in an interview somewhere where she said that that kind of caused problems with people that were finding her for the first time through her audiobooks um anyway so then we have Hard to Score by Kate Bromberg. This was okay. Um, the audiobook was good. It just wasn't my favorite book, but I did enjoy the audio. Then we have the rest of the Morgan Brothers. So the reason why they are now in my library is because my husband listened to them, and so he bought them um, when he listened to them, whereas, like I said, I had got listened to them on Audible Escape. So you have the first four here, Hero, Captain, Bopping Hammer, and Mr. Bodyguard. Again, I love these audiobooks and love the books. Um, highly rec would, would highly recommend them. The Unhoneymooners, I did not listen to on audio. My husband did, so I can't tell you much about it, but I did love the book. Same with The Last Flight. I read this physically, but my husband listened to it on audio, but I love the book. Then we have Pucked by Helena Hunting. I didn't love this one. Um, I didn't love the book. I don't necessarily remember the audio just because I was so pulled out of the story because I didn't love the book. Um, so, yeah. Then we have The Lie by Carla Sorensen. I don't, I remember like just not loving the premise of this book. It, I ended up liking it, but I didn't love the whole premise of the lie. And it was like um, two people who kind of knew each other in person and online, but like they didn't know who the other one was. And then once somebody figures it out, they keep it a secret, hence the lie. Um, so I didn't love that aspect of it. I do think I liked the audio aspect of it, but it's been a while. Under One Roof by Ali Hazelwood. I loved all of these little novellas. Um, the narration was great and the stories were cute. Blindsided by Amy Dawes. Um, I don't know that I loved the audio. I don't know that I loved the narrators for this one. But it was a cute story. See Me After Class by Megan Quinn. Loved this audiobook. Zachary Weber and Aaron Mallon. I'm not sure I recognize that name, but um, I really, really, really loved this one on audio. I would highly recommend it. Dr. Dearest by R.S. Gray. I'm pretty sure I read this physically, so I don't know. Eleanor and Gray by Brittany C. Cherry. Again, I'm pretty sure I actually read this physically. I had a phase where I like forgot that I had super old books in my Audible library and I was reading them physically. So Edenbrook by Julianne Donaldson is an amazing book. I will say the audiobook kind of kept taking me out of the story a little bit. I was switching back and forth between the physical and the audio and sometimes I struggled a little bit when with the audio and I'd have to go back and reread when I got to my physical book. Jock Rowe by Sarah Nye. Sarah Nay. Um, I didn't love this book and it's been a while since I've read it, but I think the audio was fine. Come Back For Me by Corinne Michaels. Again, I didn't love this book, but I'm pretty sure the audio was fine. It's Andy Hart and Zachary Weber. Again, like two of my favorites. Smitten by Lauren Rowe. Absolutely loved. This one was super cute. Um, yeah, it was, it was cute. It's a good one. Lauren Rowe does put music into her audiobooks. I don't necessarily always love her her music that she puts into her audiobooks, but I know a lot of people really do. And it's fun to have it just like play while you're listening. Um, and then the first two in the Reed Rivers trilogy. So we have Bad Liar and Beautiful Liar. Again, Andy Art and Jacob Morgan. These, This trilogy follows the same couple throughout all three books. Um, and it is a great one. Two Meals a Day and Empire of the Summer Moon are my husband's. I don't even know what these books are about. He has some interesting things on here. The Revenge Pack by Ilsa Madden Mills. This one was okay. Um, it's been a while since I've read this one as well, but I do think I enjoyed it. Still by Kennedy Ryan. I read this physically, I'm pretty sure. But the book is fabulous. Definitely check it out. The Rogue Not Taken by Sarah McLean. Um, I don't remember this audio. The book was okay. Birthday Girl by Penelope Douglas is so good. It's so good. I think I read this physically though, but it's fabulous. Okay, then we have some Bridgertons here. Again, I'm pretty sure these are all Rosalind Landor. Yes. Highly would recommend them if you still, for some reason, haven't read Bridgerton. But even if you have or aren't interested, definitely check out other books that Rosalind Landor has narrated because she is great. Um, I'm going to skip over those. All Scott and Bothered by Kerrigan Byrne. Derek Perkins. I don't remember. I know I love this book, but I don't remember the audio. A Rogue of One's Own by Evie Dunmore. Same thing. I enjoyed this book, but I don't remember the audio. Sorry, guys. We're getting to the books that it's been a while since I've read. 
Lady Sophia's Lover. I read this one physically, I'm pretty sure. So I'm not sure. Things You Save in a Fire, again, I read physically, but it's a fabulous book. The Duchess Steel by Tessa Dare. This one was really good. Um, I got through this audio super quick. It was one of my first audiobooks to listen to, and I just kind of sat around and did nothing all day. Like, I colored. I remember specifically coloring in my coloring book while listening to this book because I couldn't put it down. Then we have the books that I have not started yet. So I can't tell you a whole lot about these. Um, so we have Baking Me Crazy by Carla Sorensen. I think that's the first book in, in that series by her. Um, a lot of these are authors, I've read Carla Sorensen, but a lot of these are authors I haven't read, but they're going to be at a signing I'm going to in February or a signing I'm going to in, I think it's March. I'm going to Holiday with the Bells in Dallas in February and I'm going to Readers Take Denver. I think it's in March. Um, anyway, so... S.L. Scott. We have Best I Ever Had. I haven't read anything by her. I have read a couple books by J Jiffy Kate and enjoyed it. They're an author duo, so I grabbed Blue Bayou. It's the first in their, like, New Orleans series. The Bride's Necklace by Cat Martin. Cat Martin is going to be at Readers Take Denver, and I haven't actually read anything by her yet, I don't think, um, but she writes historical romances. She also writes a lot of, I think, romantic suspense, so most of her books that are on audio were not historical, but I did grab The Bride's Necklace, which is book one in that series. Then I want to read Claire Kingsley, so I grabbed Broken Miles, which I'm pretty sure is the first book in the Miles Brothers series. Yes. Then we have Crow by A. Zavarelli. Again, A. Zavarelli, a. Zavarelli is going to be at a signing I'm going to. Um, I've heard a lot about this series. I don't know that it's really going to be for me, but it's an Audible exclusive, so Audible is the only place I can get it, and it was super on sale, so I did go ahead and pick that up. Then we have Dr. Neuro and Dr. E.R. by Max Monroe. I read Dr. O.B. and really enjoyed it, so I want to finish this series. The Everest Brothers by S.L. Scott. This is a... Um, This is a like box set um, of three books. So you have Everest, Bad Rep, and I don't know. It doesn't tell me. Hmm. And another box set. And another one. Okay, Morgan, you've got to stop buying things. Okay. Then we have The X Effect by Carla Sorensen. This is book two in her Washington Wolf series and I do want to finish that series. Then again Jill Ramso Ramsover Rams whatever is going to be at a signing I'm going to. I haven't read anything by this author yet but we have this box set of Forever Lies, Never Truth, and Blood Always. Focus by Carla Sorensen. This I think is book one in the Ward Sister series which I am really excited to start after I finish the Washington Wolf series. Cindy Madsen I've read one book from and really enjoyed it um so I wanted to check this out she also is going to be at a signing so this is book one in one of her series so getting lucky number seven heartbreak warfare by Heather or Orgeron or she is also going to be at a signing I think this is a very emotional book um so yes then I grabbed a couple Sophie Lark books from the Brutal Birthright series. I grabbed Heavy Crown just because it was the cheapest out of all of them. Um, and then I grabbed book two because that's the next one for me to read. Oh, it's not on here yet. It's down here somewhere. Heard That by Lainey Lynn Vale. I want to read some like westerns, some like cowboy romances. So I grabbed this one. Same with Hitching the Cowboy by Kennedy Fox. Then I grabbed The Hookup by Kristen Callahan. I've heard a lot about this one and want to just finally read it. It, I think, is a football romance. He's holding a football. So I'm excited to read that one. Then we have Juicy Rebound by Tony Aleo. Aleo. I also have not read anything by this author, but they are going to be at a signing I'm at, so I grabbed a couple from them, I think. Then Mafia Casanova. Both of these authors are going to be at a signing. I like mafia books now apparently so I figured I would give this one a try. The Marriage Effect by Carlos Renton is the other book in the Washington Wolves series. Then I wanted to grab some Sierra Simone books so I picked up her Misadventures books just because I'm still a little unsure about her other series. So I grabbed Misadventures in Blue and Mr. Misadventures of a Curvy Girl and then by Tony Alio, Misadventures with a Manny and Misadventures with a Rookie. Then Christy Marie is also going to be at a signing, so I grabbed The Potter. Don't know anything about this, but 
there you go. Um, same thing with Maria Lewis. So I grabbed Power Play. This is book one in her hockey series. Another Claire Kingsley book I want to read is Protecting You, which is book one in the Bailey Brothers series. I kind of was just getting book one in a lot of series because I didn't want to buy a whole series if I didn't end up loving book one because that has happened to me with Pucked. Um, over multiple sales, I ended up buying the entire Pucked series and then I read book one and didn't love it. I know some of you have told me I need to read a specific book in that series. I'm not sure which one it is, but I will go and look it up and I will eventually read it. But um, yeah. Then we have Racked and Stacked by Lorelai James. Again, I just want to read some cowboy romances, and I do own this book physically, so I don't know why that makes me want to buy the audiobook, but I do like switching back and forth. So then again, another Christy Marie. We have Rebellious. This is a football romance, and it says it's a best friends to lovers, which I am here for. Another cowboy romance. We have Reckless in Texas by Carrie Lynn Dell. Then another S.L. Scott, who I haven't read from either. We have The Resistance. This is an Audible exclusive, so I'm, I'm, I'm always trying to be conscious of that too. Like, if it's not an Audible exclusive, sometimes I can find it at my library. Um, but if it is Audible exclusive, obviously it's exclusive to Audible. And so that's kind of how I prioritize sometimes if I'm trying to narrow down my cart. Then from Amber Kelly, I really want to try this author, so I grabbed book one in her Poplar Fall series, which is Rustic Hearts. I've had that on my TBR for a while. It looks super cute. Then from Max Monroe, we have Sex Says and Single Dad Seeks Juliet. Again, just some books from Max Monroe that I want to get to at some point. Then Nicole Fiorna is going to be at a signing I'm going to. I'm not sure if I'm going to love the series or not, um, but I did go ahead and pick up book one, so... Um, and then here is book two of the Brutal Birthright series. Book two is the next book I have to read, which is why I bought this one. And then, I, like I said, I bought the other one that was the cheapest in the series. Another by Jiffy Kate is Stud Muffin. And this one is in a series, I'm pretty sure. Oh, on the app you can't click on the series. Anyway, I'm pretty sure this series includes the books by Carlos Sorensen. They're like Baking Me Crazy... Um, here is book two in Gianna Darling's duet, When Villains Rise. Mariana Zapata, I already owned a lot of her audiobooks, which you'll see in a minute, but I did grab All Roads Lead here. Then from Rebecca Jinshak, I grabbed The Assist. That's book one in this series, and I wanted to read. I've wanted to read this for a while. It's a basketball romance. Then from Joanna Lindsay, I want to read more from Joanna Lindsay. I've read some that have been major misses, but I've read some that I really love from her. So I grabbed all of the audiobooks I could find from her that were on the like very cheap end. So we grabbed Beautiful Tempest, then from Lorraine Heath, Between the Devil and Desire, which is Scoundrel of St. James book two. Uh, most of hers were a little more expensive than what I was wanting to spend, so I just grabbed the ones that were on the cheaper side. From Devney Perry, we have The Birthday List. I really want to read this one. This is book one in a duet. From Candy Steiner, I grabbed Blindside. These are in such a random order. It's kind of frustrating. Um, I want to read Blindside. It's one of her football romances, one of her newer releases. Then The Bluff from Willa Nash. This is book two in her Calamity Montana series. I read The Bribe and really enjoyed it, so I'm excited to continue on. The Bluff is also a marriage of convenience, I think. Then we have Call Me Crazy by Melanie Harlow. Um, this is book two, I want to say, in one of her series. I mean, they're standalones, but um, I've read two other books in that series and really enjoyed them, so I grabbed that one. Then Catching Caden by Samantha Christie. This is a baseball romance, and I met her at Book Bonanza and purchased this book at Book Bonanza, um, but sometimes just having the audio helps me get to them sooner and get through them quicker. Okay, sorry. My daughter woke up and I had to wait until her next nap time to film again. So it has been a few hours. <gasps> no. Okay, there we go. Um, it has been a few hours, so sorry if I look a little different. Um, we're going to start screen recording again and just pick up where we left off. So here we go. Okay, The Change Up by Megan Quinn. I have read quite a few books in, well, I read two, maybe three books in the Locker Room series, the the Locker Room is one of the books in the Brentwood Baseball series by Megan Quinn, and I have enjoyed them. So I grabbed that one. Um, co record by Megan Quinn, I don't know much about, but I do really enjoy Megan Quinn books. Um, then from Joanna Shoup, I grabbed The Courtesan Duchess and A Daring Arrangement. 
again just some historicals that I want to read that were pretty discounted and oh Carmen Rose I'm not sure I've ever listened to an audiobook by her or Roxy Owls I don't know okay a deal with the devil by Elizabeth O'Rourke everything by Elizabeth O'Rourke is on sale right now but I just grabbed the first book in that series and then The Duchess War by Courtney Milan. This is one that I have been wanting to read for a while. Oh, it's Rosalind Landor. I told you, she's one of my favorites. Um, so I'm excited to read that. Then I also grabbed Fair Catch by Candy Steiner. I had Blindside earlier. That's what I meant. Like, these are not in any specific order, which is frustrating. But anyway, um, so I grabbed Fair Catch. And then another Claire Kings they want to read is Faking Miss Wright. I'm pretty sure this is a marriage of convenience, or maybe it's fake marriage, but... Um, the Hunter by Kerrigan Byrne. Again, just another historical I want to get to. This is book two in the Victorian Rebel series. I've read book one, but I need to continue on. Um, another historical In Bed with the Devil by Lorraine Heath. Then I grabbed Indigo Ridge by Devney Perry. I'm pretty sure this is book one in her Eden series, which I want to get to. Um, I thought about going back and getting the other two books in that series, but I've spent enough money on the sale. Then some Joanna Lindsay, Let Love Find You, Letters to Molly by Devney Perry. This is the, I think, second book to the, like, birthday list duet. Lingus by Mariana Zapata. Um, like I said, I already owned most of her audiobooks, so I grabbed that one. More Joanna Lindsay, Make Me Love You, and Marry Me by Sundown. Um, then I'm going to get to meet Beverly Jenkins in Denver, and I'm so excited. So I grabbed Nighthawk just to be able to get through more of her backlist. Most of her books were still pretty pricey in this sale, like $11. Um, so I didn't grab very many. I think that might have been the only one I got. Then I want to read some Lucy Score. So I got No More Secrets and Pretend You're Mine. And then down at the bottom of the screen, Rock Bottom Girl. Um, a Tessa Dare, One Dance with the Duke. Megan Quinn, Put Me in Detention. This, I think, is book three in her teacher series. And I really loved um, book one, The See Me After Class. So I grabbed that one. The Relationship Pact by Adriana Locke. I've been meaning to read this for a while. I read the book, you guys saw it earlier. I think the one by Ilsa Madden Mills in the series already. And I enjoyed it. And I do like a lot of Adriana Locke's books. So I'm excited to read this one. Then Savage Hearts by J.T. Geisinger. I'm pretty sure this is the third one in the series I bought in this sale. A Scandalous Deal by Joanna Shoup. Simply Unforgettable by Mary Below. Again, just some historicals I want to get to that were pretty cheap in this sale. Taste by Melanie Harlow. This, I think, is the only one in her, like, second generation Cloverly Farm series I haven't read yet. So I grabbed that one. Another Joanna Lindsay, Temptations Darling. Then I grabbed Texas Orchids by Samantha Christie because she is an author that I want to read. I met her at Book Bonanza, um, and this is a cowboy romance, so I'm super excited about it. Then we have Timid by Devonie Perry. This, I think, is book two, yes, in Lark Co. series. I read book one. It was okay, uh, but I'm excited to continue on with that series. To Marry an Heiress by Lorraine Heath. Again, just another historical I want to get to. Oh, Vivid by Beverly Jenkins. I did get in the sale this time. Um, I just finally got, found a copy of the, like, original paperback, um, original edition, and so I'm excited to be able to read it. Um, I also did get Waking Elizabeth by, or Waking Olivia by Elizabeth O'Rourke in this sale. Same with Wicked Beautiful by J.T. Geisinger. Oh, I just want to read more by J.T. Geisinger. Another historical I want to get to, Wicked Intentions by Elizabeth Hoyt. I don't think this is the first in this series. Um, I'm pretty sure it's not, but I think most of them were on the pricier side, and so I just grabbed the cheapest one out of the series while it was on sale. Wild at Heart by K.A. Tucker. This is the sequel to The Simple Wild, um, and I have been putting out this book forever, and I feel like I'm going to enjoy it. Um, I know... It was very mixed feelings. I feel like a majority of people didn't like it, but I have seen some people really love it. So I do want to read it. Um, and I feel like having the audio might help me get to it quicker. Although I say that and now I have like 200 books in my, <laughs> in my Audible library. Okay. Another Joanna Lindsay, Wildfire in His Arms. Work For It by Talia Hibbert. I want to read more Talia Hibbert and this one was on sale. Another Lucy Score, The Worst Best Man. And then some Avery Flynn. I get to see her at a signing as well. So I grabbed a couple of hers. Steadfast by Serena Bowen. I think, yes, this is book two in the True North series. This one I didn't get in the sale. I think we're past the sale at this point. Um, just other books I had in my library. So I'm really excited to carry on with this series. Eyes on Me by Sarah Kate. Ooh, I've read that one. I should mark that one as finished. There we go. 
A Partridge and a Pregnancy by Will and Nash. This one I'm pretty sure is included with Audible Plus. Um, this is her last book in her like Christmas series. I really loved the first two so I'm excited to read this one this year. They're very short like this one's three and a half hours. Then we have the last two books in the Clifton Forge series that I need to get to Fallen Jester and Tin Queen by Daphne Perry. Earn Your Extra Credit by Megan Quinn. I'm pretty sure that is book two in her teacher series which I really want to read. Then we have The Club Trilogy by Lauren Rowe. Um, there's actually four books in this series, but I think the fourth one is just a bunch of epilogues, but this is a boxed set of books one through three, um, which I'm excited to read. Then we have After We Fall by Melanie Harlow. I'm pretty sure this is in the middle of a series, but when I was at Book Bonanza, I said, outside of your Cloverleaf Farm series, what is a book that you would recommend? And she said this one. So I definitely want to read this one. Then Carly Phillips was going to be a book bonanza, or maybe was, and I just didn't get to it. I don't know. We have a box set of The Billionaire Bad Boys, books one through four. Like I said, I didn't get to it, but um, Dearest Clementine by Lex Martin. Um, Lex Martin is another author that I have not read yet, but was going to be or was at Wanderlust, which I had a ticket to and then didn't get to go to because I was out of town. Um, yeah, but I just don't want to read some by that author. Make It Sweet by Kristen Callahan. I've had this book on my TBR forever <laughs> and I just keep putting it off so I need to read it. On a Tuesday by Whitney G. I really loved what I've read by Whitney G so I need to I need to read that one. Um, Culty by Mariana Zapata. I just need to sit down and read Mariana Zapata. They're just so long. Playboy Pilot by Penelope Ward and Vi Keeland. Pilot romance, I assume. I don't know. Give Me a Reason by A.L. Jackson. I need to read A.L. Jackson. My sister in law is really good friends with her daughter, who is also her PA, I think. And um, I like keep not going, to, or I've only been to one signing, but she's going to be at several more signings that I'm going to, I think, all of them. And I just keep putting it off, but like I need to go talk to her and introduce myself. So I need to read something by her. Then we have A Lie for a Lie by Helena Hunting. Um, I think this is the second generation Puck series, but I need to read that. Riffs and Refrains by Devney Perry. Um, I bought this when I was doing my Devney Perry author binge and then I never got to this one, but I do still want to read it. Say I'm Yours by Corinne Michaels. Corinne Michaels has been very hit or miss for me so I just keep putting that off. Burn For You and Melt For You by JT Geisinger I'm pretty sure is a duet and I really want to read that duet so I need to get to that one. Again a Corinne Michaels the one for me and then you have Say You Want Me, Say You'll Stay, Stay For Me. <laughs> I have a lot of Corinne Michaels because I, I was really excited about reading her books and then I read a few and they were very hit or miss and so I don't know. We'll see when I when I get to them. The Penalty Box by Odette Stone. I, this is a hockey romance that I think people were really loving, so I bought it in the last sale. Um, oh, and another Corinne Michaels we own tonight. Then we have The Air He Breathes by Brittany C. Cherry. This is a part of her Element series. I've read The Gravity Between Us and The Silent Waters, so I need to read the last two, um, but I'm excited to get to that one. Boyfriend by Serena Bowen. I think this is the start of another series, um, which is a hockey series. So I'm excited for that. Then we have a boxed set from Megan Quinn of the Brentwood Boys, um, the like baseball series. I think this is just three books. The Locker Room I've already read, but this also has the dugout and the lineup in it. And then we have a collection by Kaylee Loring. Again, she was supposed to be at Book Bonanza. That's kind of the section we're in right now where the books that I bought to see at Book Bonanza that I didn't get to. Um, so this is The Brooklyn Book Boyfriends, books one through four. Rebound With Me, Come Back to Bed, Tonight You're Mine, and The Plus Ones. I don't know anything about them. Cuffs by Kate Bromberg. Again, I bought because I was going to see her book Bonanza. Drive Me Wild by Melanie Harlow. That is in her, I can't remember the name of the series. But it's the series with um, Tie Me Down and Make Me Yours. Anyway, I want to read that one. Another Corinne Michaels Fight For Me. Another A.L. Jackson Hold On To Hope. Then we have Imperfect Match by Corinne Michaels and Melanie Harlow. I do really want to read this one. I'm pretty sure it's a Friends to Lovers. Um, so I want to get to that one. Then we have Irresistible by Melanie Harlow. I'm pretty sure this is book one in the yeah in the Cloverleaf Farm series. I have not read the Cloverleaf Farm series. I've only read the Next Generation Cloverleaf Farm series. Um, so I do want to go back and read the original five, I think. Kiss and Don't Tell by Megan Quinn. This is a hockey romance. 
that I am excited for. I really do love Megan Quinn. I really do. I know a lot of people don't. She's kind of hit or miss with people, but I love her. A Love Letter to Whiskey by Candy Steiner. This one is just one I keep putting off because it's so angsty and people say it's going to wreck you. Um, so I just keep putting it off. Luna and the Live by Marianne Zapata. Then we have another box set. This was from Carly Phillips. Ooh, this was six books. Um, again, she was going to be a book bonanza. I say was going to be. She might have been and I just didn't get to it. Um, so we have Dare to Love, Dare to Desire, Dare to Touch, Dare to Hold, Dare to Rock, and Dare to Take. Don't know anything about that. Moonlighter by Serena Bowen. Is this book one in another series by her? Yes, The Company, book one. Um, I need to read more by Serena Bowen for sure. Then we have My Soul to Keep by Kennedy Ryan. This is book one in the Soul series. Um, one of the few books that I still need to read by Kennedy Ryan. Then I have the one and only boxed set by Melanie Harlow. So this has only you, only him, and only love. I think it's three, three books. Uh, the Perfect Catch by Megan Quinn. So this is another baseball Brentwood boys book. Then we have The Romantic Pact by Megan Quinn. So this is in that series where there's a book by Megan Quinn, Adriana Locke, and Ilsa Madden Mills. So I need to read this one. Rookie Move by Serena Bowen. This is the Brooklyn Bruisers book number one. I have had this book on my TBR forever. I need to just read it. Sweet Cheeks by Kate Bromberg. Again, I bought that because she was going to be a book bonanza. Buy a Thread by Lucy Score. I do really want to read. Let's download that now. The Casanova by T.L. Swan. Oh, this is in the Miles High Club series. I didn't know that. Okay, book three. Uh, for Luke Off with Love by Marianne Zapata and Hands Down by Marianne Zapata. I really need to read more by her. And Wait For It by Marianne Zapata. Then we have the Josh and Cat trilogy by Lauren Rowe. Another Lauren Rowe I really want to get to. Again, this says narrated by Lily Reynolds, so I'm pretty sure that Lauren Rowe narrated these herself. Um, so I really do want to get to that series soon. Um, Back in the Burbs by Avery Flynn and Tracy Wolf. Um, I bought because Avery Flynn was going to be at Book Bonanza. Same thing with The Wedding Date Disaster. Getting Schooled by Emma Chase. I feel like I had seen around a lot, so I grabbed that in some sale. Dane Storm by Mia Sheridan. I need to read more by Mia Sheridan. Lady Daring Takes a, Loving, a Lover by Julie Ann Long. Um, this one, was this the first book? I don't know. I, I was really excited to read something by Julie Ann Long and then I just haven't done it yet. Another Mia Sheridan, More Than Words. The Naked Truth by Vi Keeland. Untouchable by Talia Hibbert. Is this book two or three? Book two. Ravenswood book two. I want to read the rest of that series. Then we have The Trouble with Love by Claire Contreras. Beyond the Bases by Kaylee Ryan. The rest of the Pucked series. The Mother Road by Megan Quinn. I think that's a road trip romance. Once We Were Starlight by Mia Sheridan. Real by Kennedy Ryan. I still have not read. I need to get to it. Everyone says the audiobook is amazing, but it's 16 and a half hours. That's crazy. Stroked by Megan Quinn. I'm pretty sure this is a swimming romance. Um, and then some R.S. Grays. With This Heart, The Allure of Dean Harper, Anything You Can Do, Cold Hearted Boss, Love the One You Hate, Scoring Wilder, Arrogant Devil, Make Me Bad. I do really love R.S. Gray books and her audiobooks go super quick so I, I need to read those. Disgrace by Brittany C. Cherry, The Space in Between by Brittany C. Cherry, Art and Soul and the Fire Between High and Low by Brittany C. Cherry. I really want to read the rest of her backlist. This Earl of Mine by Kate Bateman. The Virgin Romance Novelist Chronicles by Megan Quinn. On the Rocks by Candy Steiner. My Last Dutch is by Eloisa James. Another Pucked book. Hard to Handle by Kay Bromberg. Just One Year by Penelope Ward. Stranger in My Arms by Lisa Klepes. All Your Perfects by Colleen Hoover. At the Stroke of Midnight by Ta Tara Civic. Because of Miss Bridgerton by Julia Quinn. Another A.L. Jackson. This is a boxed set, it looks like. Show Me the Way, Follow Me Back, and Lead Me Home. Regretting You by Colleen Hoover. Bigger Rock. Oh, this is a box set by Lauren Blakely. We have Big Rock. What are they? 
Big Rock, Mr. O, Well Hung, and Full Package. Just four books. Another by Keelan Penelope Ward. And we have The Feel Good Factor by Lauren Blakely. A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah Jane Mass. How to Walk Away by Catherine Center. I need to read more by Catherine Center. Keep Her Safe by K.A. Tucker. And then it gets to some that I've had on here forever that I don't know. Like Lonesome Cowboy and Texas Two-Step by Debbie McComer. Why did I buy that? Um, it ends with us by Colleen Hoover. I need to read. The Perfect Couple by Ellen Hildebrandt. The Royal We. That was going around Instagram a couple years ago, so I bought it. Attachments by Rainbow Rowell. This book is super old on my Audible account. Same with Bossy Pants by Tina Fey. One Pair of Summer. I've never even heard of that. I don't even know what it is. I mean, obviously I've heard of it, but same with The Ugly Stepsister by Aya Ling. And then some old schools. We have Rebel Bell by Rachel Hawkins and The Duff by Cody Keplinger. And then what is in progress? Oh, I've read Wallbanger a long time ago by Alice Clayton. Yes, Please by Amy Poehler. The Best Thing by Marin Zapata. I did start. Wasn't loving it. And then Heidi's Guide to Four Letter Words by Tara Civic and Andy Arndt. Um, I just wasn't feeling it at the time. So that is my Audible library. Whew. It is crazy. I know I went through that super fast, but we were literally going to be here all day if I did not. But thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you if you made it to this point. If you made it to this point, put a put a money emoji down below since there is a sale and we are saving money, but also not because we're spending money on the sale. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.